Okay, so you're ready to build your first current boost converter? Yeah. Okay, let's follow the schematic from the screen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you have to solder these components, yeah? Yeah. So what do you have to do first is to get rid of the light bulb. We have a coil here. We have a diode. And what do you need more? You need a capacitor, right? Yeah, yeah. And a capacitor. So I'll take off this one. And um, we've got this one. That's a coil. You understand? Yeah. It's just a wire and it's spinning around the core. And mm -hmm. also, you see, it's surrounded by that ceramic core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a coil. Yeah. If you check the coil has zero ohms, you know that. Yeah. Yeah? Good. So we're gonna this one will be here. Check the schematic. Yeah. Yeah, but which one is the plus, which one is the minus? I mean, it's a it's, wire. The it's coil a wire. is a wire, it doesn't, doesn't have, have one. Okay. And we have to uh, give me the schematic. Okay, the schematic, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. We have to put this one, the diode. Okay. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Like this. Okay. And then, um, go back. And then we have, I, I need a wire to connect the, the? the, the drain with the, with this, this, uh, with, with the diode here. So with the coil, with not the, with the diode. With the, the diode, you just take the signal out. Yes, with the, with the coil. Okay. Wire. Okay, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy because th this, this, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, the way how Diana is building this, it will give us so many problems. It will, uh, it will throw us like on a very, very advanced stuff, you know, it's the things you learn them on the, probably on the last year of the university, like negative ground currents and uh, many other things interested thing so i'm quite happy the way we are moving forward all right and then we've got the capacitor capacitor yeah capacitor you on the schematic? Yeah. <laughs> we got the capacitor. So this one is coming here. How do I put this? Like that? Especially, especially mm. working with, uh, with like high currents. I mean, you have to understand the MOSFET is hammering the coil. It's no other perfect word for what MOSFET it, is, it, it, it will do to this coil. It will abuse that coil. It's switching the coil to ground. I mean, that coil it will take 
uh, it will take the main power uh, power supply current. So uh, we're gonna run on so many problems. I mean, and I'm happy, you know, because uh, yeah, that's the way how you learn. Can I use this to connect the this <coughs> one with this one, or should I use a bigger one? You can clearly see. I mean, if you are advanced, you can clearly see that and I actually ignore it. This is a current <laughs> boost convert. So, uh, I'm doing. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. It's a lot to learn from something like that. I'm doing something wrong. No, no, no. You are you are doing exactly everything according with the schematic. With the schematic. Exactly. Yeah. Which I draw it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you did something wrong, it's not my fault. So it's not like about you taking the, my schematics and modify the schematics with a lot of wires. Huh? You see me using wires on my schematic? <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a difference from the schematic and actually the final product. But yeah. it's okay, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine, it's fine. You think? Don't worry, just ignore me. Ignore the teacher. Yeah, do you on your way because that's how you learn. You see, it's not working, and uh, you'll have to sit here all night long to figure it out why it's not working. Hmm? I will blame you, if, and uh, that will be the easiest part. There you go. All good? Yeah. Uh, let's connect the LED on the output. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Huh. Let's connect here. Huh. Uh, let me erase this. Okay, let's connect here. Uh, a LED. What do you think? Hmm? And then a resistor. I mean, that's how we have here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The plus, minus, this is the LED symbol, yeah? So basically, your LED is your load. Yeah, that's the one. So the one with the resistance is the plus. Yeah. Yeah. Which is coming here. Yeah. Like, easy peasy. And the other one. Uh, you want the schematic? Yeah. It's coming on the one here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Okay, something about coils, we didn't spoke about this. Mm. You can't really uh, push how much current you want on the coil. On some point, the core, it will get saturated. Okay. You understand? So mm -hmm. be careful when you are racing the duty cycle. Yeah. Racing the duty cycle, it will increase the current through the coil. You remember, this is coil is a wire, yeah? Mm -hmm. That MOSFET actually shorting that coil to ground. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful, uh, careful with uh, adjustments, yeah? Yeah. So you have plus and minus. Yeah, just connect and let's see. So we need to connect one here. I don't know, you know. Right? Yeah. The plus. Yeah. And connect the minus here. No, we can connect here. Up to you. Okay, it's quite high. Try to lower the current. Lower the... Yeah, lower the current. Spin that thingy. Yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Now I will check with the voltmeter, I will check the output. So that's the output, basically, yeah? So we have 11.6. 6. 
basically the input voltage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now raise the the duty cycle. Wait, wait, wait one second. So what's the voltage? Thirty three. You see? Yeah. You have thirty three volts with twelve volts input. Mm-hmm. You understand? Go go higher. 33, 34, 35, 36. Yeah. Wait, what voltage has our capacitor? Goes down, go down. I don't know, but it started making noise. Yeah, that's that's good. Go, 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 go down, let's see. Because this can blow up. So this has 50 volts. Okay, we do have some range. Okay, let's try again. Mm. Yeah. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Go, 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 go. It start making noise. Yeah. I can't hear anything. I, 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 I can hear it. Go, go, go. That's full? No. No, but I'm afraid to. One hour. So you see the voltage is not rising anymore. Yeah. 37. Yeah, I think that's the yeah, maximum. That's, it, now it's going down. Yeah. Yeah, go down, go down. So you see, you reach the saturation point of the, that coil. Yeah. So you understand? Mm-hmm. So this is a working, surprisingly working. I, I believe you know a lot to be improved here. Lol. It's yeah, hot? Yeah, I was pretty sure, yeah, it's hot. Lol, mm. this is crazy hot. Mm. Yeah. The diet, check the diet. <laughs> yeah, can feel it. Yeah. And the coil? The coil is just warm. Uh, and the transistor? That's hot. Hmm? That's hot. Now, from what I'm seeing here, mm. I mean, with one, one amp, you get like 30 something volts. Mm -hmm. This is a very poor performance. And one, one reason why this is poor performing mm -hmm. is because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have in mind what this is doing. You have a coil, which has zero ohms. Then you have a MOSFET, which is, it's, it has nearly, uh, has under zero ohms internal resistance when it's switching. But you are using tiny wires. This, you have a tiny wire, then you come with the ground from here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So instead of, you know, choosing this ground, you come with the ground from here. That's not important. Mm -hmm. That's not important. Important is you build this and it's working. You know, where, where in, the, in the industry it's used something like that? Because they are using this kind of stuff to get from low voltage to get high voltage. You have, huh? No, where? Like on what devices? You have to hire the voltage more than uh, input voltage. I don't know. On the iPhone LCD screen. You know, the screen connector was like 30 volts, 40 volts. Okay. So the iPhones, or not only iPhone, any, any phone with LCD screen. Mm -hmm. Then on the laptops. On the laptops backlight, they are using something like that. They are boosting the voltage from 19 up to like 40 volts for the backlight. Okay. You didn't know that? No. No, I know. No. And actually it's not more complicated than this one. Actually it's simple. You have one chip which has the PWM, con PWM controller and the MOSFET all together. Then outside you have the diode, you have the coil, and you have uh, some ceramic capacitor instead of this one. I mean, we don't even need this big capacitor. We can use a smaller one. That's nice. So tell me what you didn't understand. Um, I understand everything. Look on the schematic and tell me what you didn't understand. 
So this MOSFET, it will charge the coil, mm -hmm. yeah? With high current, the coil, it will bounce back with high voltage. With high voltage, yeah? yeah. The high voltage will pass the diode, obviously, because it's, 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 it's uh, bouncing with the inverse voltage. So initially, you apply plus here, minus here. Mm -hmm. When it's bouncing back, it will be plus here. Yeah. Okay? Pass the diode, and you have the capacitor, smoothing capacitor, okay? Mm -hmm. Because this will be the output signal. Then you have your, uh, your load. So tell me what is not clear here. Everything is clear. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's check with the oscilloscope mm -hmm. to see what you catch from that coil. Okay? I yeah. want to see the signal, what you catch from here. Yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't have to be this. It has to be when, the, the, when you are, uh, you're seeing it's zero. So when it's zero, the coil has to boost back. Yeah. Right? Okay, let's check. Okay, so check here. Yeah? yeah. This is interesting. Uh, the blue one, it's actually the output yeah, or the, the drain of the, of the transistor, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So check here. This is your one, yeah? Yeah. Your, when your duty cycle is on, okay? Mm -hmm. Then it's going down. And when it's going down, this is going up. Oh. You can see? Yeah. I mean, this, this oscilloscope, it's, it's quite like a basic one, but you can see exactly what happened. So it's going up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then it's going straight down, and on that moment, your coil is bouncing. You can see mm -hmm. the blue? Yeah. So this is the gate of the MOSFET. We took the signal from the gate, the yellow one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is the gate. So that's how uh, that's how it's working. It's very interesting. So it's soon as you, you your MOSFET is disconnecting, mm -hmm. yeah, the the voltage is rising. Yeah. The inverse voltage, uh, the coil is boosting back. It's it's uh, it's bouncing, bouncing back. You can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is cool or not? It is. It is. It is. It is. Electronics is beautiful. Okay. And hard. And uh, it's not that hard. You see, we are learning the basics. It's not the ba that hard when you know. You, you just you just learn how how a coil is working. Yeah. You see. I mean, I'm trying. Look, I'm trying. This is hard for me because when I learned, there was no MOSFETs and there was no switching power supply. So even for me, it's kind of new stuff. Mm -hmm. But everything on those days have switching power supplies, which means you have to do with MOSFETs, you have to do with coils and PWM controllers. That's why it's important. Yeah, we are learning together, kind of. I mean, I really know what's happening there, but, you know, teaching is something else. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next time, next time we're gonna push this further. Yeah. More. You have to benchmark this circuit and see the mistakes. Yeah. Okay. You can see you cannot really goes like over one amp. Yeah. That's a problem. Okay. We cannot go over uh, thirty volts, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see next time. All right.